We all know the story of Galileo, the man who discovered that the earth is round and had to spend the rest of his life being persecuted. Why did this happen? Because people were afraid of something they didn't understand. The same thing is happening with genetic engineering. No matter how much science and research is behind it, people still don't trust it. Dr. Mo, co-founder of Greenpeace, will explain how GMO works and why we need it. As a scientist, what's your view on genetically modified food? Well, first, the, the term genetic modification is a bit misleading in itself because we are all genetically modified. Every single organism that was produced by sexual reproduction from a mother and a father, whether it's a plant or an animal, is genetically modified because we're not identical to our parents. Therefore, we are modified. We're different from them. So starting with that and realizing, okay, what does this term genetic modification mean when we're talking about what should be called either recombinant DNA technology or horizontal gene transfer technology or something more specific because what, what, what we are calling GMO is actually only one kind of genetic modification. There are many kinds including just normal reproduction. When a farmer purposefully takes a crop and breeds a male with a female plant, that is sort of like arranged marriage in human society. And that's what farmers have been doing for 10,000 years, making our food crops completely different from the wild relatives that they began with. Either you take a carrot or a cabbage or a potato or anything, corn, it looks nothing like the original crop that they started with. It's very slow, that process, when you have to breed each time a new seed. Whereas we found in, in the last hundred years or so some much quicker ways to modify the genetics of our crops. They say this is not natural, but in fact it's been going on for billions of years. For billions of years, bacteria have been not doing it on purpose, been moving bits of DNA from one species to another. And, and that's what we're doing too. We're actually employing bacteria in order to move the piece of gene we want to move. It's no longer random. So it's sort of like in wild breeding of plants out in the garden there. Nobody's controlling which plant breeds with each other, right? In horizontal gene transfer in nature, nobody's controlling which gene a bacteria will take from one species to another. But in recombinant DNA technology, we are controlling which piece of gene the bacteria takes into another plant in the same way we control the breeding when we're choosing one plant to breed, to breed with another, unlike what happens in wild nature. So who do you think is against it then? The organic farming community is not against using radiation mutation and chemical mutation to produce seeds, whereas they are against using GMO to produce new seeds. And there's no reason for them to be against it. It's a completely arbitrary decision on their part. They, they, they've, they've found it convenient to market their own brand, organic, against GMO. And so we have a, a multi-million dollar campaign against GMOs from the organic marketing community, posing as activists, basically, mm -hmm. that are saying, oh, there's something wrong with this. There is no ghost in the GMO seed. There is absolutely nothing in there. And every science organization, every nutrition organization, every medical organization says so. As a doctor and a scientist, what would you recommend for a healthy diet? We should eat a balanced diet that includes all the major food groups like they tell us to. Uh, I, th I personally think that people should eat more seafood, especially oily fish like salmon and tuna. There's people who are afraid of tuna because they say it has mercury in it. The problem of mercury in tuna is nothing compared to the benefit of omega-3 fats in your diet. Um, I would say that grains should be eaten, uh, that fruits and vegetables, uh, reduce red meat consumption if you eat too much of it. That's the way I've gone with my diet. Uh, I think chicken is a, an excellent choice of meat for cost-effective and good protein. Uh, but Again, I, I try to focus on, on seafood. 